That's a trait, isn't it? writing everything down. It just gave me like a lot to sift through and, and think about. So the album really is, is all about those thoughts. asked if I needed any production help with the record. First time I got together with Beck in LA, we, uh, we only had three days, but he works really fast, so we managed to get four songs done in that time. Uh, one of the songs made it on the album. I had a crazy cold that was just really just messing with my voice, and I was gutted because I just really wanted to sing. And um, so anyway, I just screamed it out, screamed it out, and I just didn't care after a while, I just couldn't hear him, no, I was just like... That was good and right? That was really nice. Yeah. Working with Beck just really inspired me to get off my arse and start writing. I'd made a studio of sorts in my apartment in New York, essentially a cupboard with as many machines as I could cram in. <laughs> By the time we had our next meeting, I think I had about 20 sketches. As luck would have it, whilst we were recording at Beck's studio the second time around, Feist was in town as well. I had a song where I knew it was a good song, but there were no lyrics, so uh, we all sat around and had a powwow, and it ended up being a really sweet desert ballad. legendary space. Down at Ocean Way we had an amazing cast of characters, James Gadsden on the drums, Brian Barton, Feist, Nicky Costa. By the time I got back to New York after that session, it was such a whirlwind and I didn't really know what had hit me. Basically in between going through all that material I'd put my Walkman on and just listen to Vegetimist on repeat. And uh, I thought, man, what I wouldn't give to work with Chris Taylor. Just really kept reaching out to him and eventually he, he, he agreed to do it. We got a chance to go to Feist's um, recording studio. 
which is an amazing relaxed place. Kind of place you expect to like wake up and open the curtains and there's a big moose just kind of like chewing the cud. You know. It's amazing. Look right? behind you. That looks amazing that way too. Yeah. Sounding like an album. When we counted the tracks this morning, they had like 12. 12 pretty good ones. Yeah. That's an album. It totally is. I think that over the years, people have been confused by the fact that I make so much different kind of music. And uh, it's been hard for me to reconcile that with what it is uh, I want to be saying as an artist. But I'm really comfortable now with the idea that I am these many styles and these many, these many directions. And... So I feel like I can rightfully hold a compass and feel like I'm not lost. I'm going where I want to be going. I've been making music for a fair while now and it's amazing how just when I think I'm losing my interest in the whole process, and maybe I'm a little bit long in the tooth, or I just think, oh, I should, I should be making music this way, I should be making music this way. Uh, I mean, music comes to the rescue. Yeah. 